You're probably wondering what we're doing today. There's a thing about you streamers and it just bothers me, okay? Is that when you want to go tell someone about your Twitter, your Instagram, all your other social media profiles, you just spam all of them in the chat. Or you have different commands for each social. This is bad. Would it not just be so much more convenient to have one thing and it just brings everyone there? And no, we're not talking about Linktree. Imagine this empty bottle of vape juice is Linktree. <sighs> Goodbye Linktree. Today we're talking about Miss Link, which is basically Gazelle's offering of a one-click solution for this type of stuff. It doesn't hide anything from you or lock anything behind a paywall that you'd want to see. With this as well, I've also just created a way for it to have a little animation on your screen as well to actually show your viewers what the page looks like and what type of links that they can expect. So you can set this up to be, for example, if someone types exclamation mark socials, this little pop-up will show up and it'll show people what it will look like on a phone as well, which is pretty cool. And show them at least most of your links, depending on how many that you have. And of course, it will also as well do the chat timer. This does work on Twitch or YouTube, depending on really wherever you stream. And yeah, it's just pretty bugs. Let's jump over to the PC and let's take a look at its beauty. So yes, of course, if you haven't signed up for Mistlink yet, I really recommend to do it. It's quite simple. All you need to do is press this login button right here or the sign up button there. As long as you're signed into your Discord on your browser, just press authorize. Now, and obviously I have all my links, but this is basically what it looks like. It's quite easy to use. I'm not really going to go over it that much because we are planning an entire backend UI overhaul, but it's honestly quite simple. Here you can see a little preview of what it will actually look like live. I have some testing features that you guys won't have, such as like an embedded Twitter feed and stuff like that. But this is basically how you add and remove all your buttons. So for example, if I wanted to edit this YouTube button here, I can just click on that, update my channel ID and paste it in there. If I wanted to add a new button, I just press new, select whatever platform I have. If the platform isn't there, you can just select other and put in the URL. It's easy peasy. What you do want to do, whoever, is head over to our coffee page, which is linked down below. And on that page is going to be the place on where you can download everything that's needed for this pop up. When you're extracted, you're going to see import one, import two, misslink.streamerbot and phone. These are all very important. Extract these and throw them somewhere where it's going to be safe. Your next step then should be head over to OBS. And if you followed any of my videos already, you're probably going to have these plugins but make sure you download the OBS plugins for the move transition, which is linked down below, and the source copy plugin, because I basically just exported these from my own OBS, and this way you can add them into yours very, very easily. My neighbor's dog won't stop barking and I'm ready to scream. Once you have them saucy bad boys installed, you want to head back over inside of your OBS, look at it in all of its glory, and head up here to the tools section, go down to source copy, and load a scene. From here then, you want to navigate to where you just extracted that folder and you should see the import scene one and the import scene two. The reason they're numbered like this is because you should really import this one first. And then once you've done that, head back in, source copy, load a scene, and then import the second one. The reason I've done it like this is basically because there's some move transition and some move source things. And it's just nice to have these inside of a nested scene. This one here that says only for testing, We'll basically bring it up here and as you can see it instantly loads my profile. However, you obviously don't want it to be my profile, right? So it's pretty really easy. When you're on this one, the only for editing one, you want to head down here and go into the missed link browser source. Double click on that bad boy and here you can see the missed link forward slash IRL create. Let's say if I'm not IRL create and I'm Trent, right? Imagine I'm Trent for a minute. Do that and it's just going to pull that page instead. So what this basically means is that anytime you update your missed link profile or anything like that, the, the pop-up is instantly going to have all that new data there for you to showcase people. Don't worry about moving this around or anything like that. It does look a little strange as well because I did build this for you guys with just standard monitors like 1920 by 1080, the 16 by 9 aspect ratio, whereas I'm awkward with an ultra wide monitor, so stuff doesn't really work well for me. But that's okay, because I make you guys a version and then I make my version. Your next step then is basically just to add this to wherever you want it. So because it's a nested scene, you if you have one scene, it just has all your alerts and that scene is nested, you can nest this scene in that nested scene. OBS Inception, OBSception, OBSception. Head over onto your alert scene or whatever you call it, right click on the sources, go to add, go down to scene, and then you want to have the phone scene. You don't want the only for editing one. So you're going to add the phone scene here and you're not going to see anything. The next thing you'll want to do then is open up your streamer bot, of course. If you head up here into the import section here, you can see the box for the import string. Basically, you just want to take the misslink.streamerbot and just drag it into the import string here inside of your OBS. There is also TXT file where you can just copy and paste it all in either. Once you have that then, you should be great with two new things inside of your streamer bot. The social phone left and social phone right. This basically lets you kind of decide, let's say if your webcam is on the left, you don't want your phone like loading in on the left too. And the same with on the right. 
So this way it gives you guys some options to use whichever one you'd rather. The end result will basically look like this. If someone triggers this with a command or anything like that you want to have it set up to, you should just see the phone just pop in, load up, and there it is. Hey, check out all my socials. That easy. It's just a good thing to note, however, up in the top, there is actually the places of where it will actually say your link. So here you can see the Twitch announce or the YouTube message. Let's say if you only stream on YouTube, you can delete the Twitch one and vice versa. Let's just say I'm going to go into the Twitch run here. Obviously, this says IRL create. Just remove that and paste in whatever your profile is. If you're not sure what that is, you can head over inside your miss link. You should be able to see your profile username right here. If that's still too much effort for you, you can just go click on your little forehead in the top right hand side. Click visit profile. Then just copy and paste that link. That's all you have to do. And that's basically how it works. As I mentioned, we are working on some more features internally to make Mistlink just better and better. We're working on ways to make it easier to look cleaner, just to be perfect. Right now, our main goal has been on the end user experience. So your viewers. So we try to make everything look as nice as possible and make it just easy as possible while staying secure. And it's it's been it's been something different. It really, really has. But make sure you go check it out. And hey, when you sign up, you're going to see a little box that says who referred you. Why don't you chuck in IRL Crate? I want to see how many of you guys actually sign up after watching this video. Do not forget to like, subscribe, all that Gucci Gucci stuff. And we'll see you in the next video. Peace.